What's up guys, Ranger here, and I'm back with the final update on that 1978 Dodge Monaco from the TV series TJ Hooker. And this is the car here. And one thing I will note, yes, I do have the rear end propped up uh, real quick. Uh, I have the rear end propped up because I've got the, the right rear tire gluing. I've got a piece of glue on the bottom of the right rear tire so that it'll even, even it out. But this is how the car looks now. And I gotta say, I am very, very happy with it. Um, following the car, uh, well, from T Joker, the tires are underneath the wheel wells at a good angle. They're not too far out, they're not too far underneath the chassis. And uh, I've got the park lights on the front painted, the Dodge emblem on the front. I've got the spotlights glued back onto the A-pillars. I've got this silver trim painted through the body. Not through this door, but going all through, all the way through and around the bottom. I've also got the silver trim painted along the bottom of the car. And on the C-pillar. And along the windows. I mean, the door trim as well. And um, then the rear of the car. I've got the reverse lights and uh, the silver trim around the tail lights also painted and the keyhole on the trunk as well as the keyhole on the door and the sil with the silver trim the silver trim really helps it to really helps it to stick out and then i've also got the aerodynamic positioned more in the center of the roof you can still see a bit of the indents on the roof on the outer edges from where the guy and uh some indents of where the guy originally had the lights positioned too far forward so I moved it back and then the teacher the actual these aerodynamic light bars as seen here had the rear facing amber light and on the outer edge uh, can't really see it right here but uh, all these aerodynamic light bars had a had a white Set, had a white uh, spherical section in the center on the edges and that was supposed to be like uh, built-in alley lights and so I took some paint painted that and then also painted uh, the rear the rear facing amber lights on both sides to add further realism and the silver trim along the windows are already painted uh, on the back and the front the guy that actually built the kit actually did that but my refurbishment of the kit is complete and to get the side view mirror now one thing also is this is a mirror that all the every MPC and AMT Monaco comes with these mirrors here these are not the mirrors that goes on the Monaco unfortunately they never have been the mirrors that's on the Monaco are spherical mirrors which you can see here they're, sphere, they're spherical mirrors and so what I did was I took a smaller spotlight from another one of my kits uh, and glued it onto the door to make the mirror and I did not paint the silver trim through uh, along the wheel wells like is seen on the box because I actually looked up um, uh, some scenes from one of the episodes of Teacher Hooker, and as it turns out, the cars actually vary. Some of them have the silver trim along the wheel wells, and some of them don't. And interestingly enough, uh, so, well, interestingly enough, the gold lettering also appears on this side as well. So, um, but I can't get that off. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so that's the TJ Hooker. Monaco and I'm very very happy with it the silver trim through the side really helps to make it stand out and um, then uh, the light bar and everything um, where I went ahead and added that extra paint on it to add the realism to it it really, really makes it stand out and the guy that built the car actually went ahead and painted the interior tan and added uh, the radio and everything on the inside of the car so I didn't actually have to do that, which is a good thing because right now it's way too cold to try to paint anything. But I'm very, very happy with the TJ Hooker Monaco. It looks absolutely beautiful. I love the old traditional black and white scheme. And um, 
And then the good, the good, good thing is I've actually still got the box now too. I've got the box. The box isn't 100% mint condition, but for its age, it's really, really interesting. I mean, for its age, it's really, really good for its age. And I, I'm very happy with it. It doesn't have to be mint. I'm okay with it not being completely mint. I've still got the kit itself. So, I've got the kit. Well, I've got the box. And I've got this really awesome looking kit. That I'm going to put with... Uh, squad with squad 51 and Adam 12 <laughs> but yep this is the TJ hooker Monaco now that it is complete I'm very very happy with it this is a refurbishment that I said I was going to do the, re the restoration adding a lot more realism and detail to it to make it look all the more realistic so I'm very very happy with it and hope you guys enjoyed it as well take care